All right, when you first open BTC Shell, you should come up on this screen here. The first thing you need to do is get the IP address of the primary lighting board. This is critical because you don't want to use the client or slave IP address as OSC and MIDI show control will not work. Some places have a built-in primary light board, which is often on a rack, and that's the one you'll need to use if it's not the primary, if the other one is not the primary. There is a USB port uh, on the front of that unit that can be used for a non-driver-based MIDI show control dongle. However, we're going to be using OSC in this case, so we're going to be plugging directly into the network. So first thing we have to do is get the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway numbers of the primary light board. So if you go to settings and then network, and at the top of that, you should see the console listed here, and you have the IP address of the console, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. So I'm going to note those, those three things right there. Then you got to scroll down to the bottom of this network screen. So when you get to interface protocols, you want to scroll down and make sure that UDP strings and OSC is checked here. <clears throat> and hit accept. And then you'll click on this button here, the offline button. In your case, it should say online or something else. This is the button that will then open the ETC lighting board software. So when the software opens, the ETC software opens, the screens may be different than what you're seeing here when it first opens. If you're really trying to access uh, this browser file area here so that you can set that up. You may have to bring up the virtual keyboard here or push other buttons on the console and just pick displays, which will cycle through these different options here. Um, and you'll get to the one that has these these options right here on it and you can go ahead and hide that or you know so the one we want to pick we want to go to setup and initially go to system settings I go to queue settings and I just want my default up and down times for intensity up and intensity down to be zero um, just for my own personal reasons um, then I usually, and then I go over here to users, and I also, um, under record defaults, I have to make sure that track is set to queue only mode. And that way each queue is its own queue and won't be tracked from the previous queue. So if you had a light up in the first queue, it won't be added to the next queue. Um, and then from there, I'm going to go back to system, and I'm going to go to show control, and I'm going to OSC here, and you want to make sure that OSC RX, which is receive, is enabled, and that OSC UDP port receive port is the same as the one on your Mac. In this case, I'm going to use 9001. Uh, the, all the TX stuff is unneeded for what we're trying to do because we're not trying to transmit from the lighting program. And all this OSC Q receive string, OSC TCP server ports don't matter. We're not using those. That should take care of this part, and then you're really just going to be having your queue list up. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the those settings by hitting the display again, and just to bring up my main queue list, which is right here. And when we visit this screen, we should be firing these queues here using the OSC protocol. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is open your network preferences. And I am going to be using a USB to Ethernet dongle to create my network to control the other the the light board. Your built-in Mac Ethernet port will also work. So I plug that in. I have my Ethernet cable plugged into the network right now. And when I do that, I'm going to disable Wi-Fi just so there's no confusion here. And you can see my ETC USB dongle here is ready to roll. Um, you're going to usually need to have this set to manual. Type in the exact IP address 
that's open on the network, so slightly different than the IP of the PC. The PC had a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. That means that the Mac would require the same matching IP addresses for the first three numbers. Uh, and, the, and the router would be the gateway, which was also listed there under those settings. I'm going to switch back to um, using DHCP because I know it's going to grab the right, um, the right stuff for that. I'm going to have to just unplug it and plug it back in again. So 192.168.0, these three numbers are exactly the same as they are on the lighting software <coughs> on the PC. The 106 is different. That's this computer's unique address, but we're going to be sending data from this computer to the IP of the PC running that software. So you can quit that, and then you can open QLab, and just open a new file or a file you have open, and you need to set up the network for that. So we're going to just use patch one. You can use any one you want. We'll just call it ETC OSC. And uh, automatic is fine. But I'm going to actually make sure it's going to this Apple USB Ethernet adapter that I'm using right here. And I have to make sure the port's the same. We use 9001. And we have to put in the exact IP address of the uh, EOS Lite console. Because that's where we're going to be sending this stuff. And in this case, it is. 192.168.0.93 and you hit done and then you want to make a network queue and under settings you want to make sure they have your first ETC OSC network port selected as the destination for this OSC message. And then you just you write your your queue, which is EOS slash Q slash Q list, which is I have Q1, Q list one, so it could be anything, slash the Q number. So this will be Q1 and then slash fire. F-I-R-E. Enter. And then we'll just copy that one and make another one. And this one, I'll change this one to uh, Q5. Fire. And these numbers do not matter, the one or, or anything, because we're really, this is just the information we're interested in right here. So I'm just going to delete this here so there's no confusion. So in a perfect world, if I have the lighting software open right now, and I hit this send right here, just hit go, it should send this queue and fire the queue on the PC. So let's uh, have a look at that. So I'm just going to uh, look back at my queue list here. I'm just going to use displays to cycle through to get to just the plain lighting queue thing. All right, so hopefully if I send this, boom, Q1 just fired, and the next one, Q5 just fired. So these two are working. And this is a great easy way to uh, fire uh, a light board from your Mac if you're just firing a queue list that's on the ETC software.